Welcome to the topic on AR Credit Memos. In this topic we will discuss how to correct issues that occur after an AR invoice has been created. We will see how to create AR Credit Memos and how to cancel an AR invoice. As part of the initiative to improve customer satisfaction, the company has begun studying how to best correct issues that occur after invoicing. The key document for correcting invoicing issues is the AR Credit Memo. AR Credit Memos are used to correct problems with invoice pricing as well as to allow items to be returned for credit. Another tool for correcting issues is the ability to cancel a marketing document. The company uses this option when incorrect AR invoices are created. The two main correction documents for the sales process are the return document and the AR Credit Memo. In this topic we focus on the AR Credit Memo. The AR Credit Memo, or Credit Note, is the document used to process returned items or to give a pricing credit once an AR invoice has been issued. Returns cannot be used for correcting issues arising from AR invoices. They are only used for correcting issues arising in delivery. One advantage of using the return request document is that users can use this document for issues arising from both deliveries and AR invoices. The system will automatically determine the appropriate correction document to follow the return request. An additional option for correcting issues after a customer is billed is to cancel an invoice and reissue it. In our business example, the customer is disappointed in the performance of the camera they ordered. So they have decided to return the camera. Our item cost for the camera was 50. The camera was invoiced at the price of 100. Since the camera had already been invoiced, we had to use a credit memo to process the return. The AR credit memo reverses both the invoice posting and the delivery posting. An AR credit memo, also called a credit note, reverses either partially or fully the journal entry created by an AR invoice. When you create an AR credit memo with reference to the AR invoice, the system corrects both the quantities and values in the AR invoice. The system increases the stocks of the credited items. The system credits the credit memo value to the customer's account in the general ledger and corrects the revenue by the same amount. If the credit memo is an item type credit memo with rows for inventory items, then the journal entry for the credit memo will also increase the stock account and decrease the cost account. In certain cases you may find that a customer has fully paid an AR invoice before returning the items for credit. In such cases, you must first change the document status of the AR invoice from closed to open. Do this through right-click and selection of the option to change document status to open. Once you select update the document will be reverted to open status. A refresh of the document will allow a copy to credit memo to be effected. As we just saw, an item type credit memo normally returns items to stock as well as gives a credit for the items. If you wish to give a credit but not create a goods movement, you have two choices. You can create an item type credit memo and select the checkbox without quantity posting on the item row, or you can use a service type credit memo. The advantage using an item type credit memo and the without quantity posting checkbox is that an item type credit memo can be copied from an item type AR invoice. Only an item type credit memo can you list the item numbers. Neither of these are possible with a service type credit memo. Therefore, the service type credit memo is best used for crediting services or for circumstances where you do not wish to reference the invoice as a base document. Let us look at an example of creating an item type credit memo without a quantity posting to inventory. In this case, a customer's camera breaks. Unlike our last example, we do not require the customer returns the item to receive credit. As before, the original cost is 50 and the invoiced price is 100. We once again reference the original invoice and create an item type credit memo. However, this time we select the checkbox without quantity posting. The customer receives full credit for the item and no stock postings are made. When a customer returns items that do not refer to a specific invoice, you can post this quantity directly to the warehouse without referencing a preceding document. If the credit memo is for inventory items, then the stock and stock value increase as a result. If you do not wish to reverse the stock posting and cost postings, you once again have the option to use the checkbox without quantity posting to eliminate the goods movement. Then the only posting is to reverse the postings to revenue and customer accounts. Although you cannot copy rows from a closed invoice you can connect your new credit memo to a closed invoice by using the reference document function. You can create a reference on the accounting tab by clicking on the button for reference document. A window opens to allow you to specify a document you wish to appear in the relationship map. 
Sometimes it is not appropriate to create a credit memo, instead you prefer to cancel the original document. Business One gives you the ability to cancel marketing documents such as an incorrect invoice. When you cancel a marketing document, a new cancellation document is created with a reversal posting including quantities and its status is set to closed cancellation. The original AR invoice posting remains and the status is updated to cancelled. Both the reversing and reverse documents are closed automatically and fully reconciled. Cancelling a document saves time because any relevant accounting, fiscal, financial and inventory transactions are completely reversed in one step. Base documents such as a delivery are reopened after cancellation and can be used as a base document again. Reporting is available for cancelled documents since the original posting remains in the system along with the cancellation. You have the flexibility to set a maximum number of days for allowing cancellation after documents are posted and relevant authorizations support this process. A customer was invoiced before all items on the sales order were delivered. The customer had asked that they not be invoiced until the full order was received. The customer had ordered several items on a sales order which were partially delivered. When these items were invoiced the delivery document status was closed and the open quantity on the delivery was zero. To resolve the customer's complaint, the invoice is cancelled. The cancellation creates an AR invoice with reversed amounts. The original delivery reopens. A second delivery is made. Now because the full quantity is sent to the customer, the customer can be invoiced for the full sales quantity. Here's a summary of options for returns and exchanges in sales. For incorrect entry of a AR invoice, you can cancel the document. The related delivery will reopen so you can create a new AR invoice. The same is true if you incorrectly enter in delivery, you can cancel and reissue the delivery from the sales order. If you need to return items received on a delivery that is not yet invoiced, it is useful to copy to a return request. The system will automatically suggest copying to a return. If you need to return items that have been invoiced but not yet paid, it is useful to copy to a return request. The system will automatically suggest copying to an AR credit memo. Once an invoice has been paid, you must first change the document status to open before you can create an AR credit memo. You cannot copy from multiple invoices to create a credit memo. If you want to include credit rows in a delivery or AR invoice, use negative rows. The use of negative rows is covered in detail in the topic returns and exchanges. An AR credit memo reverses an AR invoice's journal entry either partially or fully. When you create an AR credit memo with reference to the AR invoice, the system corrects both the quantities and values in the invoice. If the credit memo contains inventory items, then the journal entry for the credit memo will also increase the stock account and decrease the cost account. A credit memo can be created without reference to a base document, for example when you need to credit closed invoices that have been paid or for when the credit does not relate to any specific invoices. If you wish to give a credit without an impact to stock, you can select the checkbox without quantity posting on an item row in an item type credit memo, or you can use a service type credit memo. You can cancel marketing documents such as AR invoices. A new reversing cancellation document is created during each cancellation procedure, and both the reversing and reverse documents are closed automatically and fully reconciled. Base documents such as a delivery are reopened after cancellation and can be used as a base document again. You have completed the topic on AR credit memos. Thank you for your time.